Previously on Paper Mario. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Look what I stole from Kirby. It's the Star Rod. Our fates are in Mario's hands. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Don't dawdle or I'll kick your ass. Ah, uh, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Kami Koopa, that fiend, did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. What? 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 Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach? Again? Well, yeah. Didn't you figure that out by this point? Oh, unbelievable. And now you must have go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Hmm. Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Gra Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will ya? Okay. Random fetch quest to get started. Oh! I can see my house! Why didn't you fall like that from the other fall? Although I guess to be fair, you were kind of shocked by lightning. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, my back! Hmm? Who's that? That you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into the thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get home because that block is in the way. Really? This block... This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? I was using the fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we better look for it. Hammer. Where are you, MC Hammer? We need you. We have a very important quest at stake. The hammer should be around here somewhere. It looks just like this. So, it looks like a hammer. Got it. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If exclamation mark appears over your head, you can press the big blue A button to search. Complete gibberish to Mario, but I think I understand. Seriously, stop breaking the wall on video games. The fourth wall is a very sacred object. You must not do anything bad to it. Also, hey, we found a hammer. We found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer attack now. He can smash a yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Okay, sounds good. So, yes, we have a hammer now. I freaking love the hammer. You can smash things. And that's really the only reason why I love the hammer. And let's face it, smashing things is fun. So, since we don't have very much money, we're going to go ahead and try to farm some coins right here. Maybe we can buy a cake or something later. Oh, what's this? You got a dolly, an adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Oh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know? It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. 
So yeah, thanks for telling us that RPGs have hidden stuff. Hmm, well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Youch! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots! Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Okay, so looks like we have a bit of a fight here. This is Junior Troopa. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more Bart than Bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. So now we can actually jump, and if we want to, we can also uh, do nothing, but that would be counterproductive, so let's just jump on him. Excellent. Good move. Go on. Okay, well, let's try using a hammer this time. Seems like both the hammer and jump do the same amount of damage, so... Let's just keep using the hammer. Why not? Mario, you've almost got him! Keep it up! Go on! Alright, you asked for it. Say hello to the Junior Troopa's special attack. Full power! Didn't seem like you did anything different, but you did more damage, so good for you. Die! Okay. Mario, that was wonderful fighting. You got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Always try hard to get points. So that will be the experience points in this game. Got it? Got it? We just move on. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You'll be back. Typical RPG rival that comes back several times. You can spot all the cliches in this game super easy. And we also got a mushroom, so we have our first healing item. If you use the C left button, you can bring up your item menu and use them during the uh, outside world. You can also take a look at your items here, but I don't think you can actually use them. No. You have to use them from the item menu like this, but that's actually pretty cool. I like how you have a little shortcut menu like that. Also, that's a heart block. It will restore your HP if you're low. Also very helpful. Can't seem to do anything with this block, though. It's a crying shame, but we'll come back to that later. For now, we have things to do. Like collecting another item. I like a fire flower. A flower that burns all enemies with fireballs. It does three damage. Very early, a uh, very good early game item. I'm not someone who really uses items very much when I play this game, but they're always nice to have, just in case. So this is one of the things I actually really love about this game when it comes to uh, enemy combat. Uh, because you have kind of an outside world where you can jump around and use your hammer, you can also use that to hit enemies with. And if you do that, you can actually do a little extra damage to them on screen. And that'll actually make some battles really, really easy, like this one. So, try to get first strikes often. Enemies can get first strikes on you if they attack first, so just look out for those. Here we have a spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are worrisome because you can't jump on them. So, always use your hammer. Never jump on them by any means. Finally, we have one more type of Goomba. We have the Paragoomba. I missed the first strike, though. 
pair of Goombas, uh, like you might expect, you can't use the hammer on them. You can only use the jump attack, but when you do jump on them, they become regular Goombas, so... That's really all it is. That's all the that's all of the Goomba family for right now. At least the normal Goomba family. We'll meet other variations of Goombas later on, but this is the basic family of Goombas. They're honestly not too hard to beat. Just jump on all of them. And of course, use your hammer whenever you're dealing with the spike variations. And yeah, as you might expect, I'm going to be cutting out uh, battles if they're very short and unnecessary. If something interesting happens, I'll show them, but um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Anyway, we just collected a star piece. Star pieces uh, can be used for a variety of different things. Uh, we're not at the part of the game where we can see those yet, but we will in time. Uh, they're also one of the game's many collectibles, so we'll be collecting them throughout our journey. And here we are, back in Goomba Village. Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and, wow! Both you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goompa, I was very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry, kids. I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Huh? Hey! That doll you've got! That's the one Goombaria lost! She was looking all over for it! Would you give it back to her? Well, I was gonna burn it and use it for... Nightmare fuel, but... that's eh, fine. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly! You're the best! Thank you so much! I'm so happy! My sweet dolly! Don't you ever get lost again! Here's a present from me. Look at the pretty glitter. Star piece. And take this too. Aww. So cute. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? <laughs> yeah, I work out. I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day, so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Where? Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now. Teehee. When he does his head bump move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. Power Jump Badge. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson in how to use the badges you collect during your travels? Nah, I can do that myself. You better listen, Mario. This is really important. Could I please give you a brief lesson in badges? Nah. Alright, I trust you. Now remember, you need flower points to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the by, Mario, I've heard from Goomba. You're taking it upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. 
Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If it were just a bit younger, I'd company on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain... Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday. Careful, Goombario. You might get shot in the knee. Me, too! Oh, here's an idea. Goombario! Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Um, I am not going to agree to this. This is not good. What, really? May I go, Goomba? May I really go? Yes! Oh, yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. I never said yes. So yes, we have uh, partners in this game. Another very, very cool aspect of this game. Goombario's special ability is that he can actually tell us about people and areas. Goombario is also helpful during battle. He can attack with head bunk, or he can tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Okay, well that does seem kind of helpful, so we'll take him. Okay, well there we go. We have our uh, travel companion here. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. That's probably a good idea. That stupid Koopa guy wore me out. Also, that bed does not look very comfortable, just saying. Okay, well, now we're ready for our grand adventure. Before we start, though... That's the tree I'm looking for. If we hit this tree with a hammer, we can get a Goon Nut. It's a FP restoring item. I'm probably not going to use this for FP restoring, it's going to come into play for another uh, side quest and a lot of other things throughout the game. Okay, well, let's go ahead and knock this block over. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. Yeah, I know. Well, since you mentioned it, I'll go ahead and equip badges. Uh, basically, badges are items you can use throughout your journey. If you put one on, you'll lose one of your badge points, and you can only store as many badges as you have badge points. Uh, this badge is only worth one badge point, but there's going to be other badges that are worth more. Uh, most of them are worth one, two, or three. There's some that are worth a lot more, but I'm probably not going to be using those unless I really want to. Uh, this badge in particular allows you to use the power jump move. Uh, it requires two FP to use, but it's very powerful. It'll do, like, I think three damage at this point in the game, so... Nice badge to have on, especially during the early parts of the game. 